New tonight, one of the oldest shoreline restaurants, Luigi's in Old Saybrook, suffered severe damage due to flood waters on Christmas Day. Channel 3's Mark Robbins says the flood might not have had anything to do with recent heavy rains. It was Christmas, probably mid-afternoon. Uh, we had our roast in the oven, getting ready to cook our side dishes. Uh, I have a big family, seven kids, so my wife and I were preparing for that, and uh, we got a call from the fire department. And the news was horrific. Water had come cascading down from the second floor of Luigi's restaurant. A breach in the sprinkler system could be the issue, although investigators aren't sure they haven't finished their work. Uh, and it just, it let go. Quite a bit of volume, and it just flooded the second floor, came through, flooded this main floor, and went right in and flooded the basement. Of course, the work is just beginning to bring this 66-year-old Old Saybrook institution back into business. Crews have done well to save a lot of equipment and furniture, but don't let that fool you. There is devastation throughout this structure that was built in the late 1800s. It was worse than we had anticipated. Um, the, the ceilings had come down, uh, you know, there was plaster on the floor. While the DeBellas deal with insurance claims, the local community has jumped in to help. A GoFundMe page for the staff has been set up. But we have so many servers that are compensated by tips, um, people that rely on that, that have kids in college and so forth. So something like that will, will really come in where insurance, I'm sure, will fall short. That virtual help is backed up by the local restaurant community. It's the glue of Old Saybrook. We've been together, neighbors, for probably over 35 years. and we do anything for Lenny and the, the Bella family, but great people, you know, we, you know, we'll stick by each other. Texts, calls, first selectmen, chief of police, other businesses, what can we do? Organizations as far as Mystic, you know, you can use our kitchen by the hundreds, and it's just been staggering. So the plan of attack is for the full takeout portion of this operation to get going first and sustain the business while the renovations and the repairs continue. In Old Sabra, Mark Robbins, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Beautiful.